man. It's a hard video to make, guys. Um, you're all here because of the title of this video. Um, I'm ending Gavin Lamb TV. And I, I just felt like I needed to say goodbye. So, <sighs> goodbye. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. Um, the channel as we know it, Gavin Lamb TV, it is actually changing though. Um, you know, I've, in the past two years, I've changed some of the content around, I've done some things, I've, I've switched some things up. But the one thing that I have not done or have yet to do with this YouTube channel is niche down. Um, everybody's always told me to niche down, figure out what I like to do, one thing that I'm super passionate about, and just do that. Um, YouTube, for me, so far has been bow, 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 all these ideas and thoughts in my head and then trying to make a video on every single little thing that pops in my head. Trying to make content that I thought people wanted to see instead of making content that I know I'm good at and that I'm passionate about. Um, I'm not saying that I didn't do a pretty good job at some of those videos, but you know, I was always looking for the next thing, the next thing to try to get more views, get more subscribers and just see what other people are doing and then try to put that, trying to basically be something that I'm not. And guys, I wanna be genuine. I wanna be wholeheartedly genuine with y'all about what it is that I'm filming, what I'm passionate about and everything like that. So guys, this is it. This is what the channel is going to be. Um, you know, I'm still gonna do live vlogs. We just hit live vlog 40, the last one. So, we're well on our way, guys. I'm still gonna do life vlogs about what's going on in my life, certain events, occasions, stuff like that. I'm definitely gonna still do um, a daily life vlog here and there every now and then. But the main point, the main meat and potatoes, if you will, of this channel is actually about to be a cooking channel. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, Gavin, are you even a cook? Guys, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I do a lot of cooking videos. We do a lot of taste tests on the channel, uh, sauces and stuff like that, but y'all have seen me cook a few times on the channel. Y'all have seen me do some things, spice some things up, and also make some things, grill. Y'all have seen me grill a lot. Y'all have seen me make euros. Y'all have seen me make Cuban sandwiches before. Y'all have seen me do a lot of stuff um, around the culinary uh, realm. So it's something I've always been passionate about, guys. Food, cooking, I'm, you know, I'm a fat boy and fat boys love food and flavor. Um, this was not an easy decision, but I felt like I just needed to be genuine and just pure and really key in on something I'm passionate about and something I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at. By no means am I a professional chef or anything like that but I do know my way around the kitchen and all you have to do is first, look at my belly. Second of all, ask my family and friends and anyone else that I've ever cooked for. Um, they love it. I think it's good, they think it's good and I think that if I can show y'all how to make some of these things, it'll be a lot easier for you to impress some friends or some family when they come over, you can make them a dish and you know, um, basically it's gonna be Gavin Lamb TV professionally unprofessional cooking school. So basically, I'm just gonna be kinda showing you some life hacks as far as cooking goes or fixing something to eat. Um, whether that be a five-star meal over here or how to boil a hot dog, guys. We're gonna tackle it all. Little bits and segments, little videos, big videos, um, super complicated stuff that I've never even tried before I'm gonna try to do and then stuff that I'm pretty confident I know what I'm doing, I'm still gonna show you that as well. It's gonna be a journey that I want you all to come along for and uh, just cook. There's one thing in life that people can always be connected on and that's with food. You connect people with food around a dinner table, around a lunch table, going out just for a beer and some nachos, 
you're always getting connected with food and flavor and it, it's it, it all it brings people together and that's my main goal for this channel was always guys faith moves mountains bring believers and non-believers and anyone else alike all together in one place to have a good time and just share positive vibes guys we're always in the search of the answer why does food and flavor mean so much to us in our lives but I think the better question is, why not find out ourselves? So the simple answer to that question, just start cooking, guys. If you wanna know a little bit why I chose uh, the cooking niche, I know it's super saturated, and I, like I said, I'm no professional, I'm no trained chef, but I, I know how to cook some things, I know how to fix some things, and I'm gonna try my hand at cooking some other professional meals, like I said. But my biggest inspiration with cooking and flavor and everything is probably my dad. And uh, he, he passed away in 2013, but I remember as a kid, he would always say or ask me, hey, I wanna come over here, you wanna learn how to make this? And I would always turn him down. And it wasn't until he passed away that I really started to experiment with cooking and flavor and all that kind of stuff. And so it's part of it is in my blood, but the other part, I just have a passion for it because once I figured out that I could do it and I was pretty good at it, it's addicting. You want to cook, you want to share that flavor with other people, you want to show people how easy it is to make certain dishes. And so my dad, my grandfather, they made a barbecue sauce together and used to smoke all this meat and, and sell the barbecue sauce. And you know, I, part of that was my inspiration also, um, my small time as a, uh, a cook in a kitchen, it was fast food. I didn't have any kind of creative freedom over any of it, but I remember just being in the kitchen and moving around and doing certain things and cleaning everything after, right after you're done with it and, and prepping and everything. I absolutely loved that stuff, guys. It's so fun. Other inspirations for me would have been Anthony Bourdain. I used to watch Parts Unknown and uh, a chef's uh, tale or a chef's tour or whatever. All his stuff throughout the years, I watched um, the day he passed away. I teared up pretty good because I remember going on like a culinary journey with him and going to try to find these flavors and find out what type of food I'm good at cooking the most. Um, like what, what am I best at? I don't know. Anthony Bourdain really opened that door for me to try to go and find out what I'm good at. Um, foodie films like Chef and then The Chef Show with Roy Choi and uh, John Favreau. Absolutely love stuff like that, guys. Huge inspiration to me. And of course, other cooking YouTubers like Sam the Cooking Guy, Cooking Con Claudia, and also Pro Home Cooks. Go check those guys out as well and subscribe to them because they do it right. Like I said, before, during, and after, I am no professional, but I wanna bring you along while I try to do this and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Please go back in the, all the videos, guys. I, I wanna make this clear. Every video that I've ever made on YouTube is gonna stay on this channel. Everything going forward is going to be life vlogs and cooking videos, but all the other stuff, the pranks, the taste test, the Pocky One Chip, all that stuff, everything's going to stay on the channel. So you're welcome to go back and watch any of the old videos, all the old content, and please go back and explore some of the old cooking videos because uh, that's where it all started and it's moving more towards that today. So we're going to take this hat off, put this hat on. Choose your weapon right there. So we're gonna be cooking. It's gonna be a super fun time. Um, basically the vlogs are gonna be like food cooking, how-to videos, reviews, grocery hauls, cook-offs, shopping challenges, etc. guys. Anything to do with food flavor and cooking. Um, the Listen to Lamb Chop podcast is gonna say relatively the same. It's gonna be all about cooking, eating, experiencing, discovering flavors, experimenting with spices, secret recipes, favorite food experiences, and why? Why not, guys? Why not? We're gonna start cooking and discover a lot of stuff about flavor and just answer that question, why food and flavor mean so much to us as, as human beings and why it brings people together so much why not figure it out ourselves and just start cooking 
Thank you so much for subscribing. Please stick around for this new change in this new year, 2022. I love you guys so much. So appreciative of all of you. Tell everybody, hey, if you wanna come try out some new recipes or see what we're cooking on Gavin Lamb TV, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stick around. So, so, so excited for this, guys. There's nothing left to say. Let's start cooking.